Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camps Online Techniques class. Today's technique is called Masked Wheels. Now to do this technique, you are going to need a variety of punches. I have a three-quarter inch, a one inch, and a one and a quarter inch. And then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. You can also use typing paper um, because it's a little thinner, but I'm going to just do the Whisper White cardstock. And then what you're going to do is you're going to randomly punch, and you can go off circles all in the different sizes on this whisper weight. So you have kind of like a cheese piece there with all holes. And then you're going to take another piece of whisper white cardstock and you're going to place your holes over the top. And then you're going to take a wheel. I like to use the wider wheels for this technique. And this is the, I think it's Starburst, but I'm not sure I'll have it on the video. And this is Island Indigo Ink. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna ink up that wheel. And you're gonna ink it by wheeling it across like I'm doing. You're not gonna go like this because you're not getting ink all over. You're gonna wheel it across the pad like that. The next thing you're gonna do is find where the rubber meets and you're gonna to wanna to start that towards the bottom down here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wheel across the top of those holes like so. And I went a little crooked, so I'm gonna ink it again. And I'm gonna just make sure that I get up at the top there. Now I don't wanna take off my little mask there. I'm gonna come in with a lighter color ink, and this is the Bashful Blue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sponge those circles with the Bashful Blue. Whoops. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way of the camera view so you can see what I'm doing. You could um, tack this down with some removable tape. And as you can do as light or as dark as you like. Just going to sponge over. And then when you remove that, there you have your masked wheels. Now to do this on a card, I am going to show you. If you have um, framelits, you can also do it with framelits. I did the different heart framelits across because I didn't have a tinier heart punch. And then I did the same technique I wheeled it in real red across and then sponged in the um, pretty in pink. So I'm going to use that on something and you'll see it in a few days. But I'm going to show you how I use this on a card. So I have a piece of bashful blue, which I did the scallop border on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and tape that the bottom like this and then I'm going to run some of the piece of on the back and I'm going to take a piece of my island indigo blue and just wrap that around and that is going to go on my card base which is island indigo And then what I did was I just took this blossom punch in white, and you can sponge the edges if you like. And I'm gonna just stick that flat only because it's going on my technique page. And then I took this stamp, which coordinates with my wheel from the My Friend stamp set, and I'm gonna stamp that 
on. Can you hand me that piece of white laying there? Yep. On a piece of whisper white. And then I could take this over the top and sponge it. Or you can just sponge it. Because I'm going to just take my punch and punch that out. And then that's going to go in the center of my flower here. And then I just stamped happy birthday, punched it out with a word window, and matted it on a modern label. And now that is ready for my technique page. This is my technique page, masked wheels. Here is my finished card. Now on here, I did three layers of flowers to pop that up with dimensionals to give it some lift. And I also put dimensionals on there. Here it is again in pink. So if somebody likes bright pink, that's a pretty card with the mask wheels. But here it is for my technique page. Today's technique, mask wheels. Thanks for stopping by.